Portland State and the University of Portland basketball teams now have a path forward when it comes to playing this season. Yeah, they had previously been left out of an exemption to COVID-19 restrictions that gave Oregon and Oregon State the opportunity to play and practice with protocols in place. Our Fox 12 John Hendricks brings us the very latest. Both schools are pretty excited to play and practice here in the state of Oregon. This news coming from Oregon Governor Kate Brown's office that those guidelines have been revised. The news coming just three weeks before the start of the season. The waiting game for U of P and PSU basketball players is over. I'm very relieved um, from that standpoint to get to play games at home, fans or no fans. They now have a path to start playing games and practicing in the state of Oregon. The news could not have come at a better time. UP was working on plans to move their games to Washington. I spent most of my day um, deciding whether or not we should cancel our home games for this year and go play games in Washington. Uh, we were prepared to start moving elsewhere. For PSU's men's basketball head coach, Barrett Perry, the news coming from his players. I was still on the court shooting with some guys and two or three guys came out to the court and said, Coach, did you see this? I said, no, I've been out here working. What are you talking about? So, uh, you know, the guys are excited. So what's next? The two universities need to send a plan to OHA to include testing and different strategies to keep COVID-19 out. Both schools have said that they're mirroring what Oregon and Oregon State have already put forward. Everybody is well aware of what we need to do, you know, the NCA stuff as well as OHA and also our campus uh, protocols. Uh, and everybody's working really, really hard on that. It wasn't until October 9th that Oregon head coach Dana Altman says they began contact practices. They still haven't scrimmaged, but that will come soon. He says he's proud of how his players are handling all this. The energy level, the, the focus, uh, the competitiveness um, it has been really good. The guys have done a good job. I uh, always want to find something to complain about, but right now I can't. Um, but they're, they're doing Good job. These universities are still working to finalize conference schedules and non-conference games, but for PSU and UP, a weight has been lifted. Now on an even playing field with Oregon's other two D1 schools. For them to get the chance to do that on equal footing with our friends in Corvallis and Eugene is very exciting. High school and youth sports leagues, contact sports, those are still banned. The governor saying that those will stay that way until COVID-19 numbers continue to drop in the state. Reporting from Tawala's and John Hendricks, Fox 12, Oregon. A blow to University of Washington and the University of California football fans. Today, the Pac-12 conference announced that Saturday's game is canceled. Cal says one player tested positive for COVID-19 and more players are now in isolation under contact tracing protocols. This means they don't meet the minimum number of scholarship players available for the game. The game will be declared a no contest and the Ducks and Beavers games are still on.